Hello, my name is Garth Reynolds. I practice acupuncture and Chinese medicine in Longmont, Colorado. And today I want to talk a little bit about the philosophy of health and aging. There are some ideas that are predominant in our Western culture. One is this idea that medicine is the war on disease, you know, fighting bacteria, fighting viruses, fighting cancer. It's a war. Also, the body can be understood mechanically like a machine. Uh, Descartes said that the body can be understood like a clock, and that idea has kind of been the underpinning to a lot of Western medicine. Getting older is something to be afraid of. Uh, I hear this a lot of times from people in my clinic that they're quite scared of, of getting older. Another idea is that we go to the doctor to have our problems fixed. Whatever we have going on, uh, oh, the doctor will fix me up. Let's take a look at some ideas from more traditional cultures. Uh, in a lot of traditional medicine, the idea is medicine is the preservation of health. We want to increase and maintain our health through medicine. We look at the natural world and the world around us and all the various changes go on. And we also see it reflected in our own body and the health of our body. So using the natural world as, uh, as a kind of way of understanding our own body. The elderly and getting older is uh, quite highly regarded. In fact, in China, where I spent many years, people often would say that they're older than they are because they're quite proud of their age. And the idea is that doctors help us to stay healthy. If something going, is going on with our health, uh, help us get through it and maintain our health and increase our quality of life. I'd like to talk a little bit about an analogy I like to use um, as a garden uh, for looking at and understanding our health and medicine. So what affects the health of a garden? So there's many factors that go into it. Some examples are sunlight, water, soil, animals and bugs, landscape, climate, and these things are constantly changing. The garden needs a healthy balance of many different factors to be healthy. The health of a garden is not fixed. It's not like you fix it up and you walk away. Its health is raised and maintained through the cycles of the seasons. I like the idea of cultivating. A garden needs to be cultivated, built, and maintained over time. In the same way, we can look at our own health. What are some of the factors that affect our own health? Stress and diet, how well we sleep, the quantity and quality of our exercise, uh, the health of our relationships and how that affects us with friends and family members, uh, what climate we live in, even the seasons, uh, our posture even, how we hold ourselves, how we move through the world can all affect our health and many, many more. Just like a garden's health, of course, many different aspects affect our own health. Our health is not fixed. It's not like, oh, I get healthy and then that's it, I'm set. Um, health is something to be improved and maintained over time. What does this have to do with acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine? So this medicine is a form of natural medicine. It helps jumpstart the body's own natural ability to heal itself and return to a healthy balance. Just like a garden, all the factors of health are taken into consideration. When we do any treatments, we talk about the symptoms, but also all the different aspects of life that may help contribute to the disease or the ailment that's going on. A big part of treatments going forward is building healthy habits in many different aspects of life. So when we talk about Chinese medicine, there are a few different modalities. Of course, there's acupuncture, also 
herbal medicine, massage and body work, and diet. Not only just what you eat every day, but there also might be foods that you should avoid and other foods that will help your condition. And healthy exercise. Moderate, healthful, and mindful exercise is strongly encouraged. Some common conditions we see in the clinic. Headaches, low back pain, anxiety, stress, insomnia, chronic cough, infertility, digestive disorders, chronic pain, recovery from stroke, and the list goes on and on. Acupuncture in Chinese medicine is effective for a wide variety of ailments. So a great referral to our clinic would be someone who's experiencing a lot of stress, anxiety, depression, someone who has pain that's not going away, or other symptoms that seem to never go away, someone's dealing with a chronic or long-term illness, anybody who's taking a lot of medications or even self-medicating with a variety of different supplements, somebody who might be preparing or recovering from a surgery, respond really well to acupuncture, also somebody who may be recovering from a stroke, uh, respond very well to acupuncture. But basically, someone out there who takes their health very seriously and wants to proactively uh, increase their health and increase their quality of life. My name is Garth Reynolds. Uh, you can visit our clinic on the web at Longmont-Acupuncture and give us a call, 303-834-8141, and schedule your free consultation. Thank you for listening.